creativity is sometimes extremely frustrating because it's not always there. Um, hey, I'm Pascal from Morse Pixel. Welcome to another video. Last week, I was planning to work on Space Grunts, my next game, a uh, game number 71 for Orange Pixel. Crazy. Um, but I simply didn't get as much done as I was hoping to get done. I did add a few things to the game and I was getting into it, but whatever I worked on just didn't seem to work for some reason or didn't result in something I liked. So um, let's talk a little bit about the things that I did add to Space Grounds, where the game is now. It's actually much further along than I thought I left it two or three weeks ago. The last couple of weeks I've been working on my older games. Check the last couple of videos on all of that. Um, but let's just talk about Space Grunts this week. Where is it now? Or how far is it? And why is everything I try to add to the game not working? Or at least last week. <sighs> okay, so before I dive into anything, um, let's show a little bit of gameplay for Space Grunts. And let me explain what this game is. So here we go. Um, this is Space Grunts, the third game in my series. Um, it's the only game or only series in my catalog that is a turn-based game. So that means um, you take a turn, everything else takes a turn. Um, but I like my games to be fast and action and arcadey. So this is a very fast turn-based game. It is almost playable like a normal action game. Um, a lot of people love the first part. It did very well. Um, I did a little bit of weird stuff in the second part. A lot of people did not like that. I added a whole card deck battle type system because that was the thing at that time. Um, now with this third game, we're going back to the roots. A quick, fast-paced, turn-based game um, in all the bells and whistles that it needs. All right, now there's a lot going on already. We have all these entities. We have a cool weapon system. We have a little twist on things that if you die you get reset to the start of the level but certain things that you placed like certain weapons or items will still be there so it's not a reset of everything uh, the things you do in the world will linger on for a reset and i still think i have to do a little bit more with that in terms of adding certain maybe certain puzzles to the levels that you actually have to open a door at one point and that closes another door and then when you die you get to profit from it so i have to figure out these things i have to really start sitting down and coming up with these ideas because right now that's really the problem i'm having i need more ideas to the game and last week i just drew a blank i, I added a couple of things one was pretty cool um creatures coming out of the wall like a metal plate uh, stuck to a wall. And if you walk by there, it will start uh, thumping open or it will start thumping, something thumps it and it uh, pops open and creatures will come out of it. I think that's a cool addition uh, to how creatures uh, start attacking you. Uh, but overall, it's still just creatures attacking you. So I need a little bit more variation there because we have a lot of creatures that will attack you already. So let's see if we can come up with better ideas. And that's where creativity just got the better of me. Um, I really have to just play this game and maybe play the original game and then um, let ideas come to me and write them down so I can actually work on them the next day. I think that's, that's the key. Just have to play this game a little bit and maybe a couple of other turn-based games. Although most turn-based games are different in a way that I don't like them. That's the whole reason I created the Space Grunt series, to make a turn-based series that I like to play, but now I have to come up with ideas that also make this third installment of the series a fun one. Um, it's already cool, it's looking cool, it plays well, but it's not special enough. And so that's what I'm now hoping to find something that makes it more special than it, uh, than it is right now. Now the game is in a pretty cool place right now. Um, I came back to it after two, three weeks of not looking at it and doing a bunch of other things. Um, but now diving back into it, uh, yeah, there's a huge amount of cool stuff going on. Uh, the lighting system with all the shadows, it's far from perfect. If you look at it uh, up closely, you'll notice that it, it's not realistic shadows. It's more a field of view and blocking certain things from that field of view. Um, it's not a shadow and light system, but it does make for awesome screenshots. Just 
picking random screenshots and they all look pretty cool. And that's usually a good sign that a game is on the right track. If, uh, if a random screenshot looks interesting and people want to know more, you get a perfect screenshot. I have been tweaking it a little bit last week. Um, I don't want things to be too dark. So I added certain light um, spots or light sources to various items that they're always somewhere in the level. And then I could um, make it darker overall because there would still be more light left and right. Um, I think it was a good change. It looks a lot better now. It doesn't look too dark, but it will depend. It's one of these features that probably needs a bit of tweaking and also probably needs an alternate or a couple of features because right now I'm playing on a big PC screen. It looks amazing. Also sitting in an office that's right now it's very dark because I have everything closed before for the video. Uh, normally I have a little bit of sunlight coming in, but it's coming from over there. So I can see everything very clearly. But if we're going to do a mobile version or a Nintendo Switch version, um, light will hit those devices and those screens differently. And then uh, what looks like it's bright enough now will probably be a bit too dark on those devices. So I need to make sure I have some uh, features or settings that a uh, player can change or that I can hardwire into the code. If we're running on mobile or on Switch, make it all brighter. If we're not running on that, but on console or on PC, most people will be playing in a uh, good environment. They're, usually they don't have the sunlight hitting their screen because, well, in that case, you just have to flip your game room around, I guess. That's just not an optimal way to play games. So um, I have to create some settings for that. But right now the light system for PCs looks pretty amazing. So I'm very happy with the tweaks I made there. But other than that, I, yeah, I created another thing. Uh, I have some video of this. I figured I would record it, creating pixel art of this little robot type thing. Got inspired by my old game Groundskeeper that I've been working on in recent weeks. And I saw this thing popping out and it, I thought, why did I not reuse this? Why have I never reused this entity, this robot, this enemy type creature in any of my games? So I figured let's do it in Space Guns. Um, got it up and running. It, it's in the game right now. I'm just not happy with it or something. I'm not sure. Um, I might give it some extra time this week. Well, the pixel art was done pretty fast, but the code required uh, took some time. And I'm not happy with it. But every now and then you have these periods. It's a creative job. It's Sometimes it just doesn't work out. So I think I wasted time on it. Or maybe I can change it a little bit. Um, the problem right now, the big problem with it, is that this entity looks cool if you're, uh, if you're in the south and the creature's in the north and you're looking or you're moving towards it. It works perfectly. But what if we're on the side, the west or the east side of it? I have to make a rotated version that looks left or right. I started drawing that one. It doesn't look that cool. It looks messy. Um, also, if we're going to be uh, at the, above it, it has to shoot north. Also, it doesn't really look well. So uh, I could limit this entity to always come up in front of you and then only be able to shoot down at you. Um, that's an option. It could be like a minor thing that pops up every now and then. That way I can still keep it and it hasn't been for nothing. Uh, or I'm just gonna remove it. Or maybe I'll make it something else that's smaller but looks like it's the same. Or acts the same but is maybe like uh, just smaller and easier to animate. I just don't know yet. Um, that's been my problem last week. Uh, the creativity wasn't there. So um, I started balancing things. I figured that if I cannot come up with cool, new, interesting things, let's just work on the stuff that's there. Let's just see if we can improve it. Uh, one of the things I ran into was that there's now a lot of enemies and creatures and entities coming at you, ready to kill you. But because it's uh, right now, I'm just programming it and dropping it in the game and see if it works. Everything comes all at once. Yeah, that's a bit overkill. Now, because this is a whole cool space sci-fi like setting, it's actually not bad if some of these rooms or a lot of these rooms are empty and you are always on your toes because something could come out of the corners or anywhere. Um, 
that works a lot better than always having a room with entities or creatures or enemies or whatever you want to call them coming at you. Um, so now I want to have less enemy spawns and probably make them a little bit stronger so that it's harder to deal with them. Uh, also, my inventory is usually full after doing two rooms. Just going room one, room two, collecting everything that's there, inventory full. I wanted a very tiny inventory. You can improve and increase the size of that with upgrades. But if we have a small inventory bag, we should not be filling it that quickly. So we need also a, a far less uh, or fewer, fewer, yeah, fewer items to be dropped, especially early on. So um, balancing. That's what I've been doing uh, the last couple of days, last week, balancing the crap out of it um, and just moving things around. Right now, everything can spawn there uh, from the start and we don't want that. So it's now uh, finding uh, what works, how far do I get into the game and then also figure out what am I missing. We already have a lot of enemies that um, move around you and shoot different things and all those things. Uh, but those are like the basic standard enemies. They move around and they shoot you if they see you. Um, I now just want to add the extra things, the special things, something to just mix it up so that the player keeps um, entertained and has uh, different things to deal with. And probably these things have to appear in later levels. They will be stronger, they will be more difficult to kill uh, and they will be more challenging. So um, I just have to figure out how much do I need of that uh, and how do we balance everything? So hopefully this week uh, I'll be able to dive into Space Grunts and uh, really start things off. Last week was terrible in terms of creativity, but I also know that this just happens. Every now and then you want to add a lot of things to your game, you want to start working on a game, but creativity is just not happening. It's okay, it happens, uh, deal with it, ignore it, do something else. So because creativity wasn't flowing on Space Grunts, uh, I also made sure to uh, use one hour every day to create a Steam page for the five classic Orange Pixel games that I'm about to release. Uh, I figured let's just use my time a lot better if I'm just looking at Space Grunts and cont continually playing it, playtesting it without actually improving anything, then let's use that time to at least do something else. So uh, Steam pages are all up. Well, they're not live, they're, they're created. Now I found two problems with that. Uh, Neoteria and Meganoid need completely new trailers. So uh, if creativity doesn't flow this week, I'm gonna record a bunch of gameplay footage from those games and create a new trailer or at least a gameplay video. The problem with the videos I do have are that these games originally were released on mobile and the footage actually shows the mobile buttons. That's not gonna work on Steam or if we're gonna release it on Switch, it won't work there either. So um, need to create new trailers. Wasn't really um, thinking about that. Wasn't, I'm not looking forward to it, but it has to be done. So um, I have to set some time apart for it this week or maybe next week and create new trailers. And then uh, all the Steam pages are ready. I'm not sure when we're going to push them live. I'm going to talk to my distribution partner for that, Handy Games, see if there's any plan or just going to dump it live and have it out there. Um, I don't think gathering wishlist on these old games is... I don't think that's really going to be worth it. Uh, they would just have to be there on Steam for a year or something like that to have some wishlist. And I don't think that's going to be worth it. But who knows? Uh, we'll see. Um, at least something I did last week that was a little bit productive, not very creative, very boring. Uploading screenshots, adding text to the Steam pages, icons, capsule images, all that. Yeah, it's, it's maybe that actually didn't help my creativity overall. So this week, the main focus is going to be Space Grunts. Also coming up with a better title. It needs a good title for its own. Uh, like the latest Heroes of Loot game, it was called Gauntlet of Power. The new Space Grunts game has to have its own name that works as a standalone name, but is also part of Space Grunts and makes sense. I'll figure it out over time. The game is not done yet, but the video is. So um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment below. And for all you idlers who have watched the video up to this point, have nothing specific to add to the comments, but you would like to 
comment something, help the algorithm pick up this video, then the comment of this week is grunts. Grunts, very easy, very simple. Grunts in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching the whole video. Make sure to tune in next week. I think I have a couple of interesting things next week. Fairly sure. Yeah, I probably already mentioned it left and right. Maybe you've all seen. I have some cool stuff next week, I think. So um, see you next week. Make sure to watch it. Bye.